This tutorial is a part of a lecture where we are going to collect data using your smartphone. Before this video, you should have visited Cloud Mergin and have signed up so you have an account. Secondly, you have installed Input App on your smartphone and tried to log on. So back in QGIS, we're going to open a project. We're going to log on to the merging. We're going to synchronize a merging. Uh, we're going to create a merging project and we're going to synchronize a merging project to the cloud. So let's start. You have got a project and you have unzipped it to your computer. So now we are going to open it using project and going to use open. I have my folder collect data and here is a project called Nodebo. You can see I have this case Nodebo and I have Sagsbehandler called basis. At the moment, I don't have any data in my layer point layer. I can open my attribute table so you can see it's quite empty. I have five fields. Feature ID, type, condition, user, and date. That's what we are going to use for collecting data. But first, I have to configure Merging plugin. I have to log on to my account. So I use my username and I use my password. I use the test connection so I can see everything is all right. And you can see I get a green OK. So press OK. Now it asks me to an, uh, enable, enable my browser panel and I say yes. We're going to use that later on. Now I go to the second button, create a merging project. Uh, I click here and I get three proposals, but I'm going to use the user package current project. And it shows me the two layers, which you can also see out here. So I have a point layer and a background image. Press next. I'm the owner and I want to give the project a name. I call collect Nodebo and I'm going to put it in a special folder so I'm clicking on these dots here. I'm going to my GIS folder, create a new folder called Mergin and in this Mergin folder I'm going to create Another folder, collect, and I'm going to select this folder. Clicking finish, and now I have created and uploaded, so I press close here. Now you can see the last two buttons here is also enabled. If I press on the I, I see the status and I see no changes. So at this moment, my project is also uploaded to the cloud. Right here you see my input app. Uh, and I'm going to launch my input app by clicking it. I have already signed on. Uh, if you haven't signed on, on yet, please do that. 
you can see down here my projects and I have three projects here if I press home in the button here you can see all the projects which are on my app but I'm going to use my project with this one here when I first upload a project it is not on, uh, it is not downloaded on on my smartphone so I have to click on this icon which means download so am I going to download it here and you can see it has been updated just now if I click again the project will open and you can see here the map is the same as you see on the screen in QGIS while I'm recording this video here I'm not you're going to use my GPS on my smartphone normally it would be green down here so it would show me that my GPS was enabled and I could collect using my GPS but for now I'm going to just record you tapping on the map here so I'm clicking on record and it says my GPS is currently not available I'm going to zoom in simply uh, scrolling on my here on my telephone and here I'm going now to add a point I go here and choose add point and now I'm going to type in that I have found a tree I'm going to choose the condition and say the condition is good my user is already put in my username my merging username is Lena if and the date today when I'm kept capturing the data if I'm going to finish this record here I'm going to press save now you can see I got a green dot for a tree I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going out to the bus stop so this is a bus stop and I'm going to record again now you can see I move here to the bus stop I'm going to add a point I'm going to choose the type up here which is a bus stop and I'm going to choose the condition here and it says good and again I'm going to press save you can see I got another symbol here it is a red diamond and the other one was a green dot so I have set up the project so I have different kind of symbols according to what I'm choosing on the type for now I finish here in in this video here capturing data but before the lecture you have to collect at minimum 25 different points in a location nearby you we are going to use the data in the lecture so please be prepared and have collected all the data now I'm going back to the projects and I'm going to my projects and you can see now there's a new symbol because I have collected two points and now I want to synchronize those points to the cloud so I press synchronize okay now I'm going back to QGIS you can see the project is here in this map there are no points no point at the bus stop and no tree in here I'm going to find the same symbol again here where I can synchronize the merchant project 
So I simply press synchronize. And now it's been synchronized successfully. And you can see the point. If I press the layer here and I open the attribute table, you can see the data I have collected here. The type, the condition, the user and the date. This was all for now. So have a nice day out collecting data.